Welcome to this video presentation sponsored by healthhype.com. Today we will explore what causes diarrhea. Please note that this video is not intended to replace a consultation with a medical professional. Diarrhea is a common problem that we all experience at some time or the other in life. Often the term diarrhea is used loosely to describe all types of alterations in bowel habit. It is therefore important to understand what the term diarrhea actually means. Diarrhea can be defined as passing more than 200 milliliters or 200 grams of stool within a 24-hour period. It can also be defined as having more than three bowel movements in 24 hours. Loose and watery stool, urgency to have a bowel movement and uncontrollable bowel movements are some of the other features of diarrhea. Apart from the quantity of stool and frequency of bowel movements, the form of the stool also needs to be considered for the definition of diarrhea. According to the Bristol stool chart, diarrhea stool is mushy or watery as indicated by type 6 and type 7 on the chart. Let's look at how stool is formed in order to understand how diarrhea occurs. Food enters the mouth and is broken down in the stomach and small intestine. Water is pumped into the small intestine to help with digestion and absorption of nutrients. The fluid is then reabsorbed in the large intestine to form soft but solid stool. Diarrhea is a result of very fast movement through the bowels, too much water within the bowels or irritation of the bowels. We can understand normal stool formation and diarrhea stool by looking at what happens within the colon of the large intestine. A fluid mixture known as chyme enters the colon to travel along its course until it reaches the rectum and is passed out as stool. Water is pumped out of the colon and the mixture is transformed from liquid into mush. As it travels further along the colon and with more water being pumped out, soft but firm stool finally reaches the rectum. However, in diarrhea this process is distorted. There are four mechanisms by which diarrhea may arise. The first is known as osmotic diarrhea. Undigested nutrients can block the reabsorption of water and can even draw out water into the colon. Therefore there is too much water in the colon and stool remains watery. Osmotic diarrhea is seen with conditions like lactose intolerance, sorbitol intolerance, and fructose malabsorption. Another mechanism is known secretory diarrhea. Normally water is pumped out from the body into the intestines but it is reabsorbed in the colon to form soft stool. However, in secretory diarrhea there is excessive water pumped into the intestines and not enough water is reabsorbed in the colon to form soft stool. Secretory diarrhea may occur with using laxatives, hormonal disorders and toxins such as certain poisons or the toxic chemicals released by microbes like bacteria. Inflammatory diarrhea is another common type. It occurs with an injury to the bowel wall. Most of the time this is due to an infection. Since the bowel is inflamed, water cannot be reabsorbed properly and water from the body may leak into the colon. Infections may be due to viruses like with the stomach flu, bacteria as is often the case with food poisoning and sometimes it may be protozoal. Lastly diarrhea may occur when movement through the bowels becomes faster than normal. These movements are caused by the coordinated contraction and relaxation of the bowel muscles. But sometimes these movements can be abnormally quick and there is not enough time for normal digestion and water reabsorption to occur. This may be seen in conditions like irritable bowel syndrome with diarrhea. Diarrhea is a symptom that may occur with many different conditions. 
Some of the more likely causes includes infections, toxins, food intolerance, immune disturbances like autoimmune conditions and food allergies, certain drugs, hyperactivity of movements through the bowel. Sometimes diarrhea is caused by psychological stress and intense emotions like anxiety. Most cases of diarrhea are acute, lasting for just a few days. However, the greatest danger with diarrhea is that dehydration can arise due to the loss of water and electrolytes. Always consult with a doctor if diarrhea is severe, persisting for more than a few days or if the symptoms of dehydration become apparent. For more information on the causes of diarrhea, Please visit the Health Hype website by clicking the link below. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel for other useful health videos.